We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. Welcome back, Kyle. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. How are you doing, Jared? Um, quite frankly, I miss Austin. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Gangland goes, he's so cute. I don't know why that was so funny to me, Gangland. Oh, I oh that's is, weird. that is I so funny. Is. So so funny. Um, yeah, th th thank thanks again to Austin for filling in on Monday and Tuesday. We are, of course, happy to have Kyle back. Um Kyle, I I've all of that, and I've already I've already lost my train of thought. We're doing sloop picks. We're doing no, some things never change. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing the sloop picks. Uh, this is seven games, although it's actually six games. If you want to hear our thoughts about Ohio State versus Toledo, go listen to the Thursday episode called Know Your Enemy colon Toledo. So we'll be doing six additional games against the against the spread. Uh, Kyle, should we start? Should we start with what is clearly Listen, I found five good-ish games. And then, of course, we always do Ohio State, even though it's it's against Toledo, but we always do Ohio State. So that's six. Um, and then I then I needed one more. Then I needed one more. Um, so unfortunately, we are about to discuss Purdue versus Syracuse. And I'm sorry. Listen. This is my YouTube. Wait a minute. Hold on. I need to do my YouTube apology. <sighs> I need to apologize for a severe lack of judgment on my part for including Purdue and Syracuse in the sloop picks this week. Um, in my defense, I. In my defense, um, I was a different person. When I when I made that pick yesterday, um, since then I have grown and matured so much, so much since yesterday. Um, when I when I when I included Purdue and Syracuse in the slew picks, um, I I just hope that you can forgive me and continue to support the sloop cast despite my severe lack of uh, quality judgment. You talk about maturity. Who 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 would you have picked then since you've matured since then? <laughs> who, who, who would you have picked then, Jared? Don't hold me to my words. <laughs> who would you have picked? Don't hold me to it. Apparently, Austin says we should have done uh, Georgia versus South Carolina instead. Um, No. But what's what's the spread on that? Uh, that's what a good is question. what is the spread on that? It has to be enormous, right? Clemson versus Louisiana Tech, absolutely not. Let's see here. Twenty four and a half. Austin says. Oh boy, that's why I didn't pick that one. But that's why I didn't game, pick that one. But yet you picked a game that's point five. Yeah, we're it's a pick 'em. Who doesn't love a pick 'em? When it when it involves Purdue and Syracuse. That's that's the that's a fair point. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna argue against that. That's just a fair point on your part. What what is the what is the over under for this game, Jared, for Purdue Syracuse? I don't have that up. I I can it's probably find low. it real quick. Uh, Sixty. 60. 60 points. Smash. Austin says smash, smash the, the under. under. <laughs> Zach says under. Uh, Gangland said no shot. I'm not sure um, in which direction that is no shot. Uh, Buckeye Esquire says I can't name a single Syracuse player. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
Oh, what what what's it, what was his name? Uh, you 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 show me the video. This was a while ago. Where they do have like, a good yeah. Uh, Tucker, Gangland. You said that uh, Gangland says Syracuse has a decent running back. Yeah, uh, was, I don't remember his first name. His last name's Tucker. Um, yeah, and he is pretty decent. What was that? Um, Smasher Pass. Oh, <laughs> the Markiplier Pokemon Smasher Pass. <laughs> I don't know why that's relevant right now, but it's a great video and everyone should watch it. <laughs> about smashing the under. Yes. Oh, that's think right. About it. Or, Kyle, or think about it. it. Just you just look at him and just like smash. smash. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, the way he did it was brilliant. But Kyle, that's not what we're talking about right now. Markiplier has enough press. He doesn't. He doesn't need it from us. Uh, just, just, just pick. So just, Purdue, so you, Purdue, Purdue point five favorite. Yeah. I, I would, I would, I would, I'll be the Big Ten homer. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with Purdue here. Did I speak in tongues? When did that happen? Um, I'm, I'm going Syracuse. I'm going Syracuse, because I'm pretty sure the entire Big Ten West sucks, and I'm just gonna assume that they all suck until I, I, I get evidence to the contrary. All right, first disagreement, and we're going. We're going to an old Big 12 rivalry here. Oklahoma and and Scott Frostless Nebraska. Uh, Kyle, I believe the phrase you're looking for is defrosted. Ah. That's uh, it, defrosted man. Nebraska. That's it. That's yeah. it. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is it's my this, turn to this go first. Be high score. This, this has to be a 66. High 66 um and Oklahoma is 13 and a half. Yeah, give me Oklahoma. Give me Oklahoma. This feels like here's the thing and here I'm and I agree with you. I'm going to take Oklahoma. But this feels like a trap, right? Like that no, 13 so, and so a half was, that was, 13 and a half Frost, feels if Scott Frost was still coaching, it would be a close game, but Nebraska would still lose. Scott Frost is not there, it's going to be a blowout. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to take Oklahoma. It, it This feels like a trap. Picking Oklahoma to cover feels like a trap. And I'm going to be stupid and walk straight into it anyway. Because it feels like the right thing to do. But I, I, I feel like I'm fucking up. I feel like I'm fucking up. I feel like I am walking straight into the trap. As the current weekly champion, I'm still winning for the season. Eat it. Kyle, we both picked Nebraska. I said Oklahoma. You said Nebraska. No, I said Oklahoma. Ah, damn. All right. Uh, <laughs> moving on to Penn State and Auburn. Yeah. Penn State uh, and Auburn. This this one, by the way, also feels like a trap to me. It's my turn to go first, right? Does yes. Austin says, "I don't care what the spread is. Give me Penn State." Man, there are more Psyduck memes than I would have thought. Thanks, Esquire. <laughs> um, it is a sad game. Uh, I agree with Austin. Um, the the spread is is it five five? Kyle, is that what we have on CBS? No, three five. Uh, three point five. Three five. It is three five. I would have been happy to take this all the way up to six and a half. Uh Ooh. I I give me Penn State. This again, that one feels so easy that it feels like a trap. It that just yeah, feels I'll, too I'll, easy. Six six and a half would be way too much for me, but yeah. I'll, uh, no, it I'll wouldn't take, for me, but I'll take Penn. I'll take Penn. I will take Penn State here. Going on the road, three and a half. Yeah, I'll I'll take Penn State to cover here. One one thing I have to say about this is San Jose State. San Jose State. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. Okay, All right. next next game. God, we're B flying through these. BYU we're flying through these because we got a lot of questions. BYU. And 
Oregon. This feels like a trap game to me. I know you I know you mentioned him to all of the others, but to me, I feel like this is a trap game to, to me. Oregon's a three and a half point favorite. But I think BYU is playing some pretty good football here. They're they're higher ranked. Again, I, I shouldn't have mentioned that because preseason rankings don't matter, but they are a higher ranked team than Oregon, but they're they're not getting the love. They're not getting the love here. I, I feel I feel like BYU is going to surprise people and I, I'll pick BYU to cover. Kyle, I everything you just said. I agree with this. This also the sloop picks this week feel real easy. I'm just going to say it. The sloop picks this week feel real, real easy, which means I'm going to fall flat on my face. That That's what this means. BYU outright. I agree. Give me the Cougs. I agree. But why do all of these picks feel so easy this week? If the picks feel this easy, I must be a sucker. BYU might win the game by 20. Here's the thing, Austin. I agree with you. I wouldn't take them plus 20 or minus 20. I don't think you would either, but these games all feel like traps. Yeah, give me BYU. All right. Anybody else disagree? Everybody else think it's BYU? I didn't see one person even feign interest in, in Oregon. All right. So that means that Oregon's going to win here. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Michigan State in our next game, taking on Washington. I didn't, I didn't see how Michigan State did last week. How, how did they do? Who do they play? Uh, no one impressive. They uh, played Akron, and they, they're on a MAC tour right now. Um, they were, they oh, beat up on Akron were, yeah. last week. They beat up on Western Michigan the week before that. Ah, so they're heading out west this time. Uh, they won by a lot. Yeah, they won by a lot to Akron. Wait a minute. Is this is this the Herb Street special? I would assume so. Wow. This ABC at 7 30. This this week sucks. <laughs> yeah. Guys, if you got any you got any chores you've been putting off, something you need to finish before the fall. Um, you got all day. Ohio State doesn't kick off till 7 30. Get some shit done in the yard. Like, you know that fertilizer that you're supposed to put on the grass? Like I got a right I got a, I got a I got a dresser I have to put together. Yeah, if you got a if you got a dresser, you got to put the more. I mean, more importantly, out outdoor stuff before the weather turns. Uh, now, now this this week would be a great time. This this is a good Saturday. Listen, if you want to go to your, if you want to like walk up to the wife and be like, "Honey, what do you want to do this Saturday?" and just kind of earn some brownie points. This 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 would be a good week to do that. All right, <laughs> all right. Um... Washington, wait, 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 wait. What? Washington is a favorite here by two and a half points. Hi, what did I tell you? These games feel too easy. Washington, hold on, hold on. I, I like, like, like Michigan State. Washington also playing Mac schools. <laughs> played Kent State, beat them forty-five to twenty, and then played. Hold on, I got to click on this because Portland I State, Portland State Vikings. The answer is Portland State. <laughs> who they who they let score on them, by the way, they let Portland State score on them. Two field goals. Yes. I, I agree, Jared. Like I, <laughs> I feel like there's there's something I'm missing here. There's something missing. Yeah, I know. The all of these all of the, this week feels so easy. I, I'll, I'll if they're if they're giving Michigan or they're giving Washington two and a half points here. I'll I'll take Sparty. I'll take Sparty then. Yeah, I'm taking Sparty too. Um, and here's why. But you know. You, here, there's a really important reason why I'm taking Sparty here. 
and it's because not, despite it's, the it's fact not, that they're Spartans, the, despite the fact that they're Spartans and not Trojans, this this joke could be funnier if this was USC. I'll save this joke for when Washington plays USC later this year. The quarterback at Washington is our uh, favorite uh, son of Indiana, mm-hmm. Penix. And the Trojans would definitely have him covered. Wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to get a shot off or anything. Um, so I figure if the Spartans can do it or the Trojans can do it, so so can the Spartans. Sure tackling. Did, did, did we um it's they we, they put up a barrier, nothing gets through the barrier. Yeah. We, they'll, we, they'll keep Penix we, all wrapped up. Did we did we um forego one of our rules, Jared? Which, which when rule in, is that? When in doubt, pick the quarterback. I have not been in doubt yet. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll take Thorn over Penix. Penix might stay straight. Yeah, Penix. The no, Penix goes down all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe when Penix was younger, he didn't go down, but. He's been playing football for a while now. He goes down a lot. Ouch, a thorn in your Penix. Yeah, it's it's terrible. All right. Last game here, Jared. How is Texas A&M ranked? (laughs) See, this is why rankings don't matter. Kyle. Are you suggesting that the fact that Texas A&M has a win against Sam Houston isn't enough to keep them ranked? Kyle, they beat it was Sam Houston, right? Is that who it was? I don't know. It was. It was Sam. It was Sam Houston. I clicked on the schedule. It's Sam Houston. Kyle, they beat Sam Houston. That doesn't earn them a spot in the top. By the way, Oregon doesn't deserve to be ranked either. Oregon's also ranked. They rank them by their uniforms. I'd like to point out that Appy State is not ranked. Why is yeah? Why is Appy State not ranked? They they should be two and zero. Oh. That like they should they should have won their first game. And but they didn't. And you know what? I I know they only won by three points against Texas A&M, but they looked dominant over Appy, Texas A&M. Hey, Appy State has a top ten win, which is more than Texas A&M can say. I mean, top uh, 10 at the time. Dare I say more than, I, m- I may be wrong for saying this, but more than any other SEC team? Um, Oregon was very highly ranked when Georgia mopped them. Gotcha. Gotcha. Either way, I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking Miami here. I'm taking Miami. I, th- I, think, I think the world... Um, knows the weakness for Texas A&M from what uh, the Mountaineers did last weekend. You just run it down their throat. And I think, I think Miami will be able to make this a really close game. So I'll, I'll take, I'll take Miami with the points. Not only, not only that Kyle, but you also essentially force King, uh, the Texas A&M quarterback to, to beat you. Because. He's not gonna, if you have a good enough defense, sell out against the run. Not that their running backs aren't necessarily playing well either. <laughs> if we're being honest. Um, hey, why, why did, why was Texas A&M so highly ranked? I'm confused. I, I don't, I know they have a good offensive line and they, and they, and they have some talent on the defense in spots. But like none of their running backs scares me. Their quarterback's a liability. Why why was everyone so high on why is everyone so high on, on Texas AM again? I forget. Someone someone tell me why we gave a fuck about the Aggies. They do have the recruiting, which is great, but they're all freshmen right now. Yeah, that's and that's the thing that I think all I heard after the game, oh, this is a young team. They'll, ex- they'll learn from this. Then why are you ranking them so high? I mean, stop they've had these, stop with consistently 
great classes though. Yeah, they have. that's they have. It's fair. Um, the coaching is bad. That's it. Probably. It could be. Could be. Right, let's let's review our picks here, Jared. So, Purdue and Syracuse. You picked. You picked Syracuse, and I picked Purdue. Okay. O- Oklahoma, Nebraska. We both picked the Sooners. Penn. Yeah, I mean, State you got to pick them sooner or later. Yeah. Penn State. I hate myself. And Auburn. For that. Penn State and Auburn. We both picked Penn State. Yeah. BYU and Oregon. We both picked BYU. Yeah. Michigan State and Washington. I picked Michigan State. I picked Michigan State. You did as well. Miami and Texas A&M. I picked Miami. As did I. And you did as well. And then the Toledo Ohio State game. Listen to the Thursday episode and find out for yourself. Ah, there you go. So we only have one difference this week, Jared. And that is the noon kickoff. So we're going to find out right away at noon. Okay, <laughs> Kyle. No, this is this is perfect. Now we have a reason to care about Purdue and Syracuse. God, we did God. it. <laughs> we did it. Oh. We have a oh. reason to give a fuck about Purdue and Syracuse. That is gross, Jared. <laughs> and I hate you for that. <laughs> Kyle, it was all, right. all a trap. All, the, the entire everything was all a facade to give me interest in Purdue versus Syracuse. That was right, the, just, that was the plan from the beginning. I'm Every this entire on. episode has been a lie. It has been a setup. This is this is a part of my this is part of my heel turn. I'm doing a heel turn by the way. I'm 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 suddenly turning myself into the bad guy. Um, no, I'm I'm just going to go into our ask slipcast questions here, Jared, because I, I don't want to talk any more about Purdue and Syracuse. You've always been a heel. I've been a heel, like in compared. Kyle's like an ultimate baby face. Just look at him; he's the face. I'm the heel, but yeah, the, John Cena is the ultimate baby face. He never turned heel. John Cena never turned heel, which why he is boring and kind of sucks if we're being honest. What are you trying to say, Jared? I'm saying you're a lawful <laughs> good, which makes you quite frankly boring. No <laughs> one wants to be Superman. Batman is way more interesting. Just saying you want to you want to be you want to be perfect or you want to be interesting. No one likes a lawful good. Sorry. All right. I'm 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 just going to move on here, Jared. All right, uh, I went from along. wrestling into D and D real quick. I am just the biggest fucking nerd on the planet. So no, no Matt agrees with us with the last uh, Snoop pick here, Miami and Texas a and He says, how the fuck is a and a five and a half point favor against the U after that abysmal showing last week? Cause Miami is also not very good if we're being honest. I, th- I think I think a few people in the in the chat uh, said it already here. Uh, I think SEC, they put the, SEC, uh, SEC. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Um, wh- no, nope, I just want to point this out real quick. Re Miami, already. re Miami. Uh, they played Southern Miss last week. Um. Mm-hmm. And it was uh, seven to ten at halftime against Southern Mississippi. But they didn't lose to Appalachian State. Appalachian State is a considerably better and like remarkably better team than Southern Miss. This isn't this isn't two thousand Appy State. They have a full complement of eighty five scholarships now. They're in the Sun Belt now. This is not two thousand seven Appy State. I have a feeling the 2007 Appy State might beat this team. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, I just wanted a reaction out of you, Jared. Right, Appy, uh, Zach, uh, that, that's fair. <laughs> that, that's certainly fair. App State, uh, Zach says App State is a powerhouse compared to Southern Miss. Yeah, 100%. All right. Zach has a couple of questions here for us. How uh, sloppy do you perceive, perceive the Auburn Penn State game goes? I think Penn State handles it. Like I'm not a huge lover of Penn State this week, uh, this year. 
Um, but Auburn is bad. Like Auburn is bad, bad. Yeah, agreed. Auburn's Auburn's like Auburn is. I I got no I can't I I got nothing. I got nothing. They're just a. If you took a dumpster, filled it with baby shit, <laughs> doused it in gasoline, and then threw a match at it, that is Auburn. I don't even know what to say to that, Jared. <laughs> I left Kyle speechless. It's all I wanted. Kyle. Uh. They played Mercer in week one and allowed Mercer to score 16 points on them. Um, what do you do in Auburn? They they played San Jose State last week and only won by eight points. They were losing at halftime to San Jose State. Auburn was losing at halftime. To San Jose State. They're the Trojans, aren't they? Maybe. They're they're Spartans. Spartans. Oh. They're Spartans. Darn. Darn. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Zach has another question here. Without Frost, kind of hinting at what you were saying, Jared, will Nebraska shock the Sooners and win in triple overtime because both teams are quite terrible? There's parts of that I agree with, but there's also parts of that I disagree with. Therefore, no. Uh, I, I actually I don't think Oklahoma is terrible. Um, I, I don't think they're as good as they're ranked. Uh, I don't think they make the playoffs this year. Um, I do think they end up losing a, a couple to maybe a few games this year. Um, not to Nebraska. I I wouldn't be shocked. I'd be surprised. I wouldn't be shocked. I think it kind of just depends upon how the players react to frost being melted. Right. Yeah. Like maybe this galvanizes the team. Maybe this energizes the team and we get like a brand new Nebraska, but also maybe not. Ooh, this is a good one here. Uh, Buckeye Zach has, what are the odds that McCarthy has a bad game and Cade becomes the starter the following week? <laughs> um the, the likelihood mean, that they have a bad game this week so okay there, there's two there's two different thoughts here one the likelihood that he has a bad game this week i think is pretty low they're playing yeah. uconn for god's sakes that being said the likelihood of a way over knee jerk reaction out of Harbaugh is is pretty good, right? Just Harbaugh, <laughs> Harbaugh just yeah. making a stupid knee jerk reaction is perfectly in character. So the first half of that not very likely. The second half of that pretty likely. UConn might be their next App State. I would I would pick I would pick App State to beat UConn without even thinking twice about it. All right, let me get back to the questions real quick here. Uh, why is Jamie Harbs a true quarterback whisperer light years above Ryan Day? I reject the question. <laughs> I reject the question. All right, here, here, here's one last question here, Jared. Why is, according to ESPN's FPI, Michigan is only a 99.3% favorite and not a 99.9% .9 favorite. <laughs> that, that last little bit is because Harbaugh. Gotcha. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Those are, those are all the questions. Anybody, anybody else in our, in our chat here have anything else you want to add with a, any of the games we talked about or any other. Did you get gangland's other... question? Gangland said he wanted us to get to a question. Did you get to that one? What are your thoughts on Arkansas? There, you need some Arkansas talk. They're fine. Um, I think that they have a decent enough defense. I think they have a really nice offensive line. Um, I'm not as in love with their quarterback as some 
people are. Um, I think they lose. I think they lose two games in the regular season. Well, they may, they may lose their after after they beat up Missouri State. I think they may they may lose their next two, which is a uh, Texas A and M and Alabama. Really, you gonna just gonna hand them a loss against Texas A and M after the conversation we've had during this episode? Eh, it's it's Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas is better than Texas A and M. I've watched enough also, of, and they also do play BYU later this year. That, yeah, that'll, that'll be that. That may be a good game. Austin <laughs> thinks that they'll beat Bama, and like it's possible. I'll never say no. It's impossible, but it's not likely. I mean, just real talk, it's not likely, but it's also not completely okay. unlikely. Okay, real talk here. Remember for years now, Jared, Austin, let me ask you a quick question. I'm going to ask we, Austin, we, we so always... he give, give, give Austin a chance to respond to this. How much do you like their defensive line, Austin, is my question to you. Okay, go ahead, Kyle. We, we always talked about for years how great the how great a division the SEC West is was. Hey, we're, we're leaning hard into the was this year. <laughs> Texas A&M not looking like who they are. LSU, bad. Ole Miss, eh. Mississippi State, eh. And then Auburn, bleh. And then you have all that you have left is Alabama and Arkansas. Not, not, that, good, not that great of a division this year compared to years past. Uh, Gangland asks, is Auburn Penn State South? Absolutely not. Um, Auburn is a spastic team. Um, they're up one year, then they're garbage the next year, then they're garbage for a couple of years, and then they might have a really good team, and then they go so back to being garbage. So they're, uh, Sparty? Well, they're LSU. But you can't say they're the LSU of the SEC because that doesn't make sense because LSU is the LSU of the SEC. Because um, uh, Penn State, on the other hand, is just forever mediocre. They're just forever fine. They're forever a pretty okay team. Uh, I honestly would be better for Penn state if they would just like completely shit the bed every once in a while. I think that would give them an excuse to like make some choices that they probably should have made by now. Gotcha. Uh, is Sean Clifford a homeless man's JT Barrett? Yes. 100%. Yes. Um, it's good enough to beat Bama's suspect offensive line. I mean, that's what I was essentially asking. They were garbage last year, though. I'm just uh, looking for any North. Wait a minute. Zach says, nah, Northwestern. Northwestern is the Auburn of the big 10 or the, you, you know what I'm trying to say? I got you. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. I can see that. Auburn is more Indiana to you. I feel like, I feel like that's LSU, but they're the same thing. So yeah. Well, no, it's not constant rate. rebuild for Northwestern. Northwestern is like, Really good by Big Ten West standards. Um, but then everyone leaves. LSU is Sparty, in your opinion. Well, you know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Because they're kind of dependent upon transfers to actually get anything done. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, Austin. You're not wrong. I think I think that's it. I think that's all the questions. I'm looking to see if there is any any last minute news, and I think we're good. I think we're we're good for um for today's episode. Excellent. 
Um, I want to encourage everyone to check out our t-shirt stores. That's right. We have t-shirt stores. Uh, we have 7071.thesloopcast.com. It's just like a bunch of Ohio stuff. Uh, it's not like podcast merch. It's just like uh, Ohio like stuff. Just like Ohio themed merchandise. Um, but if you do want some Sloopcast stuff that is not legally not a trademark issue with Ohio state, but real close. Um, but you know, it says Sloopcast on it. You can check out, uh, merch.thesloopcast.com. You can also check out our TikTok page, our Instagram page, our Twitter pages. Um, and if you're looking into links to all that, um, one, you can just watch our funny little rotating bug that we have here on the screen. Um, or you can just go to the sloopcast.com where you can find a link to all of these other links. You go to that page and then it's just links. Um, and, and then also, uh, join Zach and Austin and gangland and Buckeye Esquire and all, all, uh, in gangland. Did I say gangland already? Buckeye, Zach, Austin, uh, all these people, um, down in the discord chat. Uh, so you can join the discord server. That's completely free. Um, but in order to listen to us live and interact with us live, you do need to sign up for at least the $3 tier. Well, we all know who the favorite is. Who would that be? My favorite, my favorite's Kyle. The guy you said twice, gangland. Look, look at the, listen, that's just only because I forgot if I said his name or not. And I literally invited you on the show, Austin. Literally invited you to co-host the show. And now you want to be like gangland's the favorite. You don't recall. You don't, you don't recall Tuesday. You don't recall Tuesday. Okay. Okay. All right. I get it. It's been a long week. That's fair. That's very fair. Kyle, uh, you have anything in Kyle's corner? You didn't, uh, I, you didn't I, yesterday, which was 40 minutes ago for us. So did you find anything in this 40 minutes? No. no, other than no. there's other than there's a, a lot of a lot of talk about about a about a uh, certain uh, coaching vacancy and a and a coach that potentially could fill that vacancy. Okay, so we're talking about Nebraska, and who who who's the talk? It's not Urban Meyer. People can get over, people can get the fuck over that. Oh, that's that's it's who like, Nebraska fans want. They're like, I don't cool. care about moral. We just need to win. Hey, why don't you yeah, go get zero. Don Shula? Hey, why don't you go hey, dig up Bear Bryant and ask him if he wants to be the hey, coach? Hey, the uh, the the over under for Urban Meyer going to Nebraska. We're gonna put it at 05 percent. That's a good, first off, I want to say that's a good number. It's a very good number. And I'm taking the under. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, uh, did right. they, did they ask Nick Saban if he was interested? I mean, you got to at least call, right? I mean, make Nick Saban say no, right? You got you got you got to make him say no. I'm just saying if we're shooting for this, listen, I don't know if Nebraska could convince Matt Campbell to leave Iowa fucking state. If you're shelling out 7.5 to fire wait, a wait, guy, wait. I, I got shit, offer here, Jared, Nick Jared, 20 million a year. Might, yeah, might as well. Might as well. Urban Meyer is coming to Lincoln, Nebraska this on campus this Saturday. For, for big noon kickoff. That, uh, that was too easy, Kyle. <laughs> it was too easy. Too easy. Too easy. All right. Let's let's end let's end, end this show. Uh Snarls. We played Snarls three times this week. This will be the fourth, and then we'll move on to a new band next week. Uh, but 
with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Gnarls.